What's up dancers, this is Jam, back with another locking tutorial. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to do the locking time step. The time step, or sometimes called the six step, is a classic footwork pattern used in locking as well as many other styles. In this video, I'm gonna break down three different ways that you can do this move and add it into your dance. Let's do it! Jam, jam, here comes the man, hot damn. All right, so the time step, this is actually a move that you'll see the lockers do in some of their performances um, in unison uh, while someone is freestyling. So someone would go out and freestyle, and in the back, um, everyone else would do this step together to keep time together. And this, this is actually a move that's used in a lot of different styles, um, but, in, but today I'm gonna show you how to apply it within locking, okay? So first, let's just go over the basic footwork pattern and then we'll get into different ways to use it. So the way that the time step works, so I'm gonna be going on my left side. So um, it's basically a pas de bourre with some extra steps into it, okay? And the original version that the lockers, that you'll see the lockers use in their performances, it was on a six count. So there's actually seven steps in it, but it would go to a six count. And that's the one that we're gonna go over first, okay? So first what we're going to do is we're gonna step I'm stepping with my left, and you could do this either side. But I'm gonna step with my left foot first, then I'm gonna step right, left, and then right again, okay? So it's a little pot de bourree. So we go one, two, and, and this step, we're actually gonna go heel and step, okay? So slow again, it goes left, right, left, heel, and step, okay? And then to finish it off, you're going to step, step. And that's what makes the six steps, which really is six counts, okay? So once again, slowly, it goes one, two, and three, and four, five, six, okay? So the way that the lockers would do it, would they would just keep repeating this step. So one, two, and three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight and one and two and three, four, right? So they would just keep repeating that step. And that is the original uh, locking time step that you'll see the lockers use. So moving on from that version of it, there is another version that is more suited to the timing of the music uh, because it's done in four counts instead. So this is something that you could repeat in four counts and eight counts, which kind of sits in the music a little bit better. And you'll also see a lot more people use this version of the time, time step more often. So, um, so you're gonna start off the same exact way. And actually what it is, is you're gonna cut off the end two steps. So I'm gonna go one, two, and three, and four. And I'm gonna end it there, and then I'm gonna repeat on the other side. Five, six, and seven, eight. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and that is a four count um, side to side version of the time step. So the last version I'm gonna show you of the time step in this video is uh, another four count version. And it's kind of a blend between the original step and the four count step, okay? So what we're going to do, obviously we're gonna start the same way, just like we do, starting on my left, boom, Step, step, now from here, instead of kicking my heels, I'm gonna step, step into it. So if you do it fast, one, two, and three, four, five, six, and seven, eight. Yeah, so really it's just a pas de bourre, adding those extra two steps at the end and then repeating, okay? And then you can also go side to side if you want. One, two, and three, four, five, six, and seven, eight, okay? So those are three versions of the time step that you can play with, okay? But now, how do we add it into our freestyle? So what I like about this move is that because it's such a simple step, there's a lot of different ways that you can get creative with it and still stay within um, that framework, okay? And just like any other footwork pattern, what you're doing on the bottom um, can be the same and you could always change what you're doing on top. And this is a concept that I go over in my basic footwork video, which you, have, if you haven't seen, I'll put a link right there. So uh, taking this step, now we're gonna add the fundamentals and the groove on top of it, okay? So if I was to just do the basic six count step, I can add all my hoom, hoom, 
all my elements on top, all of my fundamentals, and I can play with all of those things and mix it up while I'm doing the step, okay? As well as I can take that step and change the way that I do it with my feet. So I can go here, maybe kick, ha, boom, boom, yeah? Boom, ta, ta, heel, heel, boom, boom, okay? That's where I can start getting creative with how I want to do it. As well as using the other versions, adding turns, spins, all while keeping that groove, and doing your wrist rolls, your paces, points and locks, all on top. So that's how you can just start freestyling with it, getting creative with the basic step, and adding in your fundamentals. Come on. Thank you for checking out this locking tutorial. If you're looking to get more training and you wanna learn some locking choreography and put all these moves into practice, head over to joeythejam.com slash classes for all of my locking classes. If you got any value out of this video or learned anything, please hit that like button for me, as well as leave me a comment. Let me know your feedback on this video and anything else you'd like to learn in the future. As always, shout out to the Drop Dance Studio for hosting this tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you always get notified when I put out a new video. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace!